Tonight, State Representative Bob Mursky is trying to gain support for several bills he's proposed for our region. He's looking for co-sponsorship for bills that would address Erie's blight problem, decrease government costs, and also help the elderly. Marissa Thomas spoke with Representative Mursky tonight. Marissa, what does he need for these bills to get through and become state law? Good evening, Mike. Representative Bob Mursky says, through, though it can be challenging and the process may take reintroducing these bills multiple times, the key is to keep pushing. And he believes that these bills are worth the perseverance. As an Erie City Councilman for seven years, now Representative Bob Mursky is using what he learned from his experience to really understand the needs of the area. He says one of those needs include resources to fight blight. That's why I've introduced legislation that would allow for a grant program uh, for three years, up to three years, for municipalities to apply for a grant for additional code enforcement uh, services. Uh, I think it's important that the state provide this assistance uh, to get this uh, municipalities uh, the help they need. Some of the bills he's introduced came from concerns straight from the community. Um, for example, my bill on giving um, municipalities and police departments first dibs on the state vehicles as we retire them and put them out for auction. Um, that came from a local police officer. So I think that's important um, that we listen to our community and then take those ideas and bring them to Harrisburg and bring them to fruition. Mursky says that to get these bills passed to the governor's desk, working across parties and Congress is essential. That's why I'm very pleased that already uh, many of these bills have bipartisan support from both Democrats and Republicans. And I think one of the things that's important is just to constantly advocate for your uh, bills, both in the House and Senate. Another one of Mursky's bills is focused on creating transparency within municipalities by having publicly accessible websites. Live from the studio, Marissa Thomas, Erie News Now.